Hello, hi, so my name is Roel and I'm uh, talking about Oktoberfest. So before we can proceed with Oktoberfest, we know we just wanted to know that we are, we are using the uh, GitHub. So GitHub is the partner of DigitalOcean for this Oktoberfest. So and DigitalOcean Manila is the community uh, of DigitalOcean. So so my name is Roel and this is my company. So Rakitos is also powered by uh, DigitalOcean. So we are website builder, system, and server admin on demand. So what's what's that? Uh, if you want to know about that, just contact me. So and what we need? I need to talk about that. We have to see to. That is to talk about. So, 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 Father Bracket House, seven years freelance developer, so four years cloud Linux system engineer, Ruby Rails developers, and software programmer. So, my original, oh my, my previous life, I'm actually a civil engineer. So, napatpad lang sa paniging uh, developers dahil nag-abroad ako at nakita ko na Mas, mas malaking potential as, as a developers and also a freelancer so marunong ka mag-code if you know how to code uh, you can actually work in the world as long as there's an internet so uh, that's where I that's where I get the idea that I don't need to go abroad to earn a living you just have to become you know, just have to think smarter so you have to work and think smarter. So my first thought is programming. So programming now is, uh, is I think, it's one of the most, uh, I mean, developers and programmers are one of the most sought after uh, positions in any company. They are all, the, they are the backbone of any company. So sometimes they were, they were rejected, but they are the backbone of the company. So we have to utilize that and maybe we can make our own company based on that. So that's why I found the Rocket Host. So since I am a freelancer for seven years, uh, from, most of the problems of my company, uh, I, I encounter is about hosting, uh, management of the server, management of the servers or the website. So that's why I found the Rocket Host. So our talk today is about collaborations and version control. With so Usually Git is just a source of created by Lina, Linus Torvald. So it's a, it's a pet. I don't know it's okay if it's kernel or it's another project from Linus Torvald that uh, uses the version control. So he knows what's going on on his uh, code. So there's a version control for that. So if he wants to change, they can easily change. If he wants to publish the code and then change again, change again, he can easily do that. So that's how version, con version control we get. So what is collaboration? So a collaborative development environment CDE is an online meeting space. So uh, it's like Facebook, but this time for developers. So developer, uh, uh, GitHub is one of the online meeting space where software development project stakeholders can work together but no matter what time zone or regions they are to discuss the plans of this project delivery. So, mostly, sino na itong single uh, developers na nagtatrabaho lang ng isa? So, a developer that only works for himself. You are only work for yourself. So, you have, you don't uh, report for your boss, and your boss don't, don't check your codes. Ah, uh, I just work by Ah, you are work for yourself, and you don't have people around you too. Yeah. Okay, so have you tried collaborations? Uh, I tried, but I didn't really finish it. Really. So, sorry? I, I tried, but it didn't really work out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, maybe maybe you can try again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can try again. Wait. Ah. <laughs> so, I'm not going to be able to get it. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to 
single pa ako. Don't worry, single pa ako. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> no, I mean single, single lang ako ngayon. <laughs> Na joke lang. Okay, so no matter what time zones or regions, you are to discuss, document, this project the So if you are working in a team, you really need to create. Uh, you really need to become. Uh, no, you really need to try collaborations because that's the way to go. So you need, really need to know how to use GitHub or not, Git, not just GitHub, maybe it's VN, GitLab, Bitbucket, uh, any version control and any, uh, some of the repositories are closed repositories so they created another version of Git on their own company. So, but the idea is the same. So that's how collaboration development works. So what are benefits of collaborations development? So collaborative advantage is ability to form effective and rewarding partnerships with other organizations for mutual benefits. So why is it important to collaborate? The team sees values in working together. So so who works together? So Kaiser, you just came here. Ah, yes. And then, sir, and pangalan mo po, sir? Sage. Sage, you just, uh, you collaborate in your team? I'm a freelancer. Ah, oh, you're also freelancer. How long? Maybe two years. Ah, two years, I see. So, developers then, I see. So, I also, I am also freelancer, but uh, for first two parts of the uh, two years um, as a freelancer, I'm also working alone, and mostly I am the one uh, looking for projects. And most of my clients are small time, uh, small clients, so they don't really scale automatically. But when I go uh, after three years, I already have get clients like a hundred people working in one project. So it's very very difficult if you don't use collaboration softwares like GitHub. And as of now as a company, so I have a team, so I still code and I'm still checking the codes because I am <laughs> I am the boss and also a project manager. So that's why I have to I use GitHub. So the team's is value part in common goals, his meaningful reasons to work together along with receiving mutual benefits. The company as well team works equal part in the collaborations provide every team members with equal opportunities. So that's how collaborate. So how does collaboration work? Collaborative works also known as joint partnerships. So covers various ways. Two more organizations can work together. So answers. <laughs> so you can work just one and then you, your friends or another friends, that's collaborations. GitHub is one of the tools of col for collaborative development. So since we're, taking, we're talking about GitHub, what is version control? So version control, a version control system are a category of software tools that help software team manage changes source code over time. So, who among you here created the codes five years ago? Ten years ago. Ten years ago. <laughs> where did you put your, where, where did you put your codes? Back in, when I was in the middle of this, we, in a banking environment, mm -hmm. we have our own repository. Mm -hmm. And the collaborative software that we are using is, if you're familiar with Lotus Notes. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we usually. Back in the days. <laughs> back in the days. Okay. So we used to have our own uh, repository, Microsoft Play. Ah, uh, Microsoft Play. Mga inject kasi, yan ang ginagamit. So back in the days, <laughs> back in the days, I also used uh, my own computer as uh, my own repository. So if my clients want the, the code, I have to send, send it through um, CD before. So send, send the CDs. And now uh, we are using um, Dropbox and Drive. And before that, we use the flash drive. Mm -hmm. So that's where we, uh, we used to uh, store our codes. But the problem with that kind of uh, uh, repositories is that you cannot update what you have given to them. So 
if you want to update you have to update here and then it just set back again and then along the way it will lost or mm -hmm. sometimes uh some of the codes are been, have been overwritten and some uh the other developers also touch up your code and then <laughs> overwrite your own code so that's the problem with uh that kind of uh, collaborations or uh, version control so categories of software so introduction what are benefits of version control so developing software without using version control is risky like not having backups version control can also enables developers to move faster faster and it allows software team to preserve efficiency and agility as the team scales to, to include more developers so when I was a freelancer, so I need to, I need to, I need to make noise. So as a freelancer, you need to make uh, sure that you know what, what to do. Because one, you need to be hired by someone else, and you need, you need to offer your service to someone else. So how to, how do you market yourself? Through GitHub. Sometimes GitHub because you put all your codes in there, and then. When someone's hey, do you know how to code something like this? Yeah, we have. I already have this kind of codes, and then they will see. And then they don't actually see that as oh, because that's, for them it's just gibberish numbers and code and letters. But for uh, project manager or the IT, the IT they understand that. So if you are freelancers, you need to have a GitHub account for you to uh, make sure that. You really know how, what you're doing, and just uh, don't just make account. Put something in it, because it's not. Uh, wala ding mangyar kapag yung account mo wala naman laman. <laughs> so yun. Next, I sorry. One, uh, so the scale include more developers. So there are complete long-term change, complete long-term change for every file. This means every change made by many individuals over the years changes, includes the creations. Sino nakakita na ng GitHub? Nang ano, na talagang yung mga na fork na ano ka, wala pa. O lahat naman tayo nakakita. Nakita lang. Ayan. So may kita mo yung mga, may mga numbers doon, dates, ano, so yun. So this is complete, ah, uh, yun yung logs. So, Branching and merging. So, branching and merging are easy. Having members work out can cut is a no-brainer. But in, but even individuals working on their own can benefit from the ability to work on independent streams of changes. Creating a branch in BC is to keep multiple streams work independent from each other, while also providing the facility to merge that work back together to the main developers to verify that changes. So. Even, kahit ikaw lang mag-isa, kapag nagkamali ka, pwede kang mag-branch, mag-branch ka. Kaya ba, ito pinaka-important. Sino yung Laravel dito? Nag-Laravel? Laravel, Laravel. Ruby, Python, Python, sorry. So, anong framework or just Python? Django. Django, so framework. So, sometimes we have to create, uh, this is a uh, scenario. So, you have a projects, so you need to create a users. Uh, users. So there's a lot. Sa, sa users, may log in, log out, sign up for the password. So, and then if you create already the whole process, and then you want to, uh, you only want to create like for the password. So instead of instead of instead of creating the, the in the in, in the masters the masters. I, the master's code, you can just branch that, and then once you finish, you just have to merge back to the masters. So that's why that's called branching and merging. And traceability. So traceability. So it's easy to trace. So if you are in collaborations with hundreds or thousands of people in one one project, it's very difficult to trace if who made that who made that commit. But once you are using version control, you can easily uh, you can easily track who made that mistake, who made, who made that uh, commit. 
So he just pushed yung linya. Hindi na niya, hindi na pala niya ginagawa. Hindi na pin test. So biglang push na siya. Okay, tapos alas 5 na, kaya mo push. Tapos <laughs> tapos puno push pa doon sa ano, pino push pa doon sa production. Tapos yun, yari na. So madali. <laughs> yari. <laughs> oh, production pino push na sa production. Yari. So yun. Uh, so that will be easily tracked and can be easily reversed if you are using a version control. What is Git? By far, it's the most widely used modern versions control system in the world. Today is Git. Git is a mature implemented open source project originally developed in 2005 by Linus Torvald. So, sino na hindi nakakilala kay Linus Torvald? So, ano yung hindi nakakilala? Labas! <laughs> so, so mga hindi nakakilala. So, gamit gamit kayo ng ano, Ubuntu, hindi ko pala kilala sila gumawa. <laughs> anyway, so Linus Torvald, kakabalik lang niya as, ano, king. <laughs> na, o, uh, o, yung kayo meron? Okay naman. Ano siya? Um, European-based. Uh, anong, anong applications na anong ginagawa mo? Um, actually, uh, we're here just to know about the... Uh, ah, the hack. Ah, the hack of request or the link? Yeah. Okay. So, sir, sino sa inyo nagtutrabaho ng malaking company? Sir, hi sir. Uh, Scorch based on Australian company. Mm -hmm. So, big company, how many developers are you in one company? Mm -hmm. Para branch po kasi ng Denso Ages. Ah. So, so, you are not using yet? Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. Let, uh, let them tell your boss that contact me. No, joke. <laughs> okay, so it will take time to educate the mind to use something that is new. But once you are acquainted with it, I think you will like it. Because uh, for the first part, the money as as uh, as freelancers and developers. Hindi talaga ako gumagalit ng git. Bahala ka niya dyan. <laughs> but once I already know, in kabilis-bilis lang pala ng git, limang kaman lang, tapos na. Dali lang pala kabilis. So, kabisa lang kabisa na. Ngayon, I'm using git for every project that I have. Even for uh, simple HTML. Stable lang kasi madali lang, madali lang yun. Pero kailangan ko magamit ng git para ma monitor ko kung magkatrabaho yung dev, yung dev ko. Kasi, minsan kasi, anong ginagawa mo? Ano? Ang hirap dito, ganun. Tapos makikita mo, isang linya lang pala ng kote, stable pa. <laughs> Di ba? Stable pa. <laughs> kasi yung isang buong araw ka nagtatrabaho, isang linya lang ang stable. <laughs> yun, nakikita mo yun. So, monitoring is also uh, ano sa git. Especially for remote. Yeah. Remote yeah, remote workers. So, ayun. So, how to install Git? Ayun. So, install Git. There are several ways to install Git on Mac, Windows, and Linux. But since I am familiar with, uh, I'm familiar with Apple and uh, Mac, so that's why I'm using Mac. But this is also very easy to install it on uh, Windows. So, actually, you have to download you don't you have just have to download a exe files from uh, repositories. So to check version of your git, if you have a version of your uh, version of your git, so git version, so you can check the version of your git, and that's easy. You, you just have to type git dash dash version or that uh, v. Ito to Git. After installation of Git, your machine, you can use GitHub or Bitbucket. So, kalaban talaga ni GitHub yan. Don't worry. <laughs> so, favorite ko pa naman si Git, GitHub eh. Kayo mag-alala. <laughs> anyway, so version of Git. So, what is GitHub? GitHub is web-based Git or version control repository and internet hosting services. So, binili na siya ni Windows, kaya nasira siya noong last week. <laughs> sino na tra, sino na ano na sino siya ginagbas ano ah, ano na down eh down ka nung last week ano nga ano ba hindi mo napansin ano ba ano ba 
Hindi sa akin atake ng dito sa... No, last, last month yun. Last, ah? last month. Ah, iba pa yun. <laughs> iba pa yun. Iba pa yun. But they survived. Iba pa ah, yun. They survived. They survived. Only Microsoft, they will survive. Uh, but last week, last week lang. No, no. Hindi lang last week. No, Friday. No. Wednesday. Wednesday lang. No, Wednesday lang. Hindi ako makapag-create ng repositories. Sabi ko, yan na. Nandito na yung sakit ng Windows. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, that just uh, bala sila doon kasi sila binaytan din ng 7P. So, we have to use the version control. Sorry. Oh, malangi. Mayaman na kagad yung creator ng GitHub. Mostly use code offers all distributed version control, source code, management, functionality of Git, as well as adding its own features. So, how to use GitHub? After all installation, after all the installations complete, you can now use, uh, start using Git and GitHub. To save your files to GitHub, you need to create repositories. So first, you have to create the repositories. So, bago ka man create ng repositories, kailangan mo muna mag-sign up. So, but before you can create repositories, you need to sign up to GitHub. So, GitHub account. So, how to create repositories in GitHub? After login, you need you read the dashboard file repository button and located the middle. So again, let's get an option. How to create repository? So new repositories. So pindutin mo lang yung kulay green na button dyan and you can create the repo repositories. Nagbago na nga ito yung UI nila ngayon eh. Kasi ano eh, matagal ko nang talk to eh. Medyo nagbago na yung nila UI. So after you click the green button, it is important that naming con naming your repository should be matched on your local folders. So para na kuha mo yung tamang ano, ang other, pag uh, nagawa mo lang kasi yan, kailangan mo yung git remote. So parang ganyan, okay, repositories. So type your name repositories and then use it public or private. So pagka, pag, pagka github kasi, pagka private ikaw lang mga kita at saka yung team mo pero may bayad ka pag public lahat lahat mga kita lahat pwedeng gawin and then but sorry sir yes sir okay. initialize this repository with the readme what's a readme for read me, documentation readme file so every every repository is meron siyang tatawag na readme file siya yung landing page ng lahat ng repositories mo so Ang ano talaga niya, ang total ang pangalan talaga niya, readme.md. So So if, if you click that, it will automatically create your own readme files. So hindi mo na kailangan mag-create pa. What, then, can, what can read the readme.md? Anong ano pwedeng basahin siya ng ano? Okay, PDF okay. or no, or, uh, or text file lang siya. Text file lang. Uh, that's fine. So you can also create git ignore. So git ignore actually is used for uh, software development and also web development. Na like mga sensitive na sensitive na files. Nibawa password yung nag ano uh, text password lang talaga siya. So pwede mong i, uh, i type type dyan sa git ignore. Ilagay mo siya dyan. And then may ignore niya ngayon yung password na yan. So pag nag-upload, in-upload mo yung password, tsaka yung mga API key, hindi niya ma- hindi, hindi, hindi mas, hindi isasamang ma-upload. Hindi, 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 hindi nakikita. Hindi masasamang i-upload. <laughs> so, yun. Kala ko minang mas niya. Hindi siya sama sa upload. Hindi siya masasama sa upload. Hindi siya masasama sa upload. Yung license. License, ilalagay mo yung license na ano? Ng, mga end user. Ah, uh, end users mo. So, halimbawa, naka, ano ba yung, with, uh, MIT, ano ka? So, yun, ano ba lang ay dyan? Or di kaya, ano? Creative form. Quick sit up. So, after you done, so makikita mo ganyan. Kung bago pa lang, kung bago pa lang yung repository mo, you can see the, uh, read me file. So, yung echo, so alam nyo na yun sa terminal, pag nagtatype ito ng echo, my startup repo. So, ibig sabihin nun, uh, type mo yung word, yung mismong text, and then uh, copy or put that to a read me files. And then, get any initializations from your local server. 
and then git add readme files. So I mean git commit m or message, and then your first message, first commit, and then git remote add origin. So since na create ka nang ano, na create ka nang, di ba? Na create ka mo na ng repository, ba? Do maupload yung mga files na yan. Dapat kukulin mo yung link na yan, yung URL, and then git remote add origin, and then yung URL, and then git push. Isang mismo lang itong gagawin, git push, users, origin, master. So kung hindi ka pa nakapag-sign up sa uh, uh, GitHub, mag-error yan, sasabihin sa'yo, kailangan ng user, username, uh, email and username. Kung tapos mo naman ang magawa, dito ka sa baba. So git remote add origin, and then git push uh, you master. So, and then, automatic na yan, save na yan. So, next. So, how to create repository in GitHub? After creating repository, go to your terminal and go to your directory using cd command. So, sino mga nag-terminal dito? <coughs> Sir, I can hack. Kayo na ba lahat? Nag-terminal kayo? So, at least alam na nila yan, cd. Okay, tapos na pala yung toko. <laughs> Okay. So, so change directory desktop kasi nasa desktop yung ano, nasa desktop yung account yung directory ko and then pasok pa ako sa isang directory my my test repo kailangan magkapareha yan sa loob mismo ng GitHub kasi pag hindi sila kapareha mag-error yan so to check all the files inside the folders type ls dash la so list list all and then, ganyan yung tsura niyan. Actually, that's, that is Ruby on Rails. So, parang ganyan yung tsura ng Ruby on Rails. Git ignore, gem file, git gem, uh, gem file lock. So, yun yung sa ano, Ruby on Rails. So, ibig sabihin na nasa loob ako ng my test repo. Makikita mo na nasa loob ako. Dito. Yan. So, since hindi pa siya nakapasok sa repository so kailangan ko siyang i-initialize so type git init git init and then initialize yan and then once na initialize i-add ko siya lahat pag gusto kong i-add din isang file lang patay ko git add then yung file name yung file type isa lang pero kung gusto ko lahat ni i ano git add then that so so once na matat ano na yan wala namang wala nang lalabas na uh, verification yan. So, type mo ulit, get git commit, tapos dash m or message, and then yung first commit. And then, yung git remote add origin. So, yung URL na gawa ko doon sa repository sa GitHub. Once na tapos mo yan, git push, view origins and master and then yan na yung lahat ng mahintayin mo lahat mag-run yan so kung makikita mo counting objects 84 done delta compression using 2 for threads so ayun nagko-compress na siya branch master set up track remote branch master master track origin and then makikita mo new branch master so first commit mo automatic yan din yung master so, pwede ka na mag-branch dyan kung halimbawa gusto mo mag-branch. How to create repository in GitHub? So, for more git... For more git... Ano, wakas na ba tayo? Slow clock? Slow clock. Two, pick, pick. Okay, so madali lang. Practice tayo. So, so yung may mga computer, practice tayo. Sige, yung mga wala, manunood na lang. Sige, labas nyo na yung computers nyo. <laughs> labas nyo na yung computers nyo. Ay, may, 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 may saksakas sila. Ay, yung, ex, ano? Yes. May saksakas yan. <laughs> Uh, sino sino gusto ko i-follow ako sa Rocket House uh, Rocket House So 
nagsa, pag nag-sign up na kayo, nakapag-sign up na lahat, sir, <laughs> mag-practice tayo. So, this is my uh, GitHub repositories. So, Rocket OS PH. So, kung sino man gusto i-follow ako, you <laughs> May marami akong mga ano, uh, snippets dyan. Yung mga maapang papadali ng buhay ng isang developer. So, yung, pinak ayan, yung pinakasikat dyan, yung assorted snippets, pinakasikat para sa akin. Para sa akin lang. <laughs> okay, so yung mga, ano dyan, mga snippets na... Kasi ayaw ko, mag ayaw ko magtanda eh. Yung tatandaan ko yung code. So, Pag kayo kung maayos na yung code, nilalagay ko na lang dyan. So, kung gusto nyo i-scrape yung Lazada, ayan, may scrape para ko yung Lazada. Ayan. Or kung gusto mo vim, pwede din ang mga vim yung command. Sila yun itong nag-vim. Ayun. By, parang by command dati. Oo, oh, by yun. Oh. Text editor siya ng Linux, sir. Right? Ah, oh, sa loob ng Linux editor. So, so uh, of, of report writer yung gamit. Mm -hmm. May tanong pala ako, ano? Well, di ba, that can be, in yung, ano eh, parang read mo yan eh. Ah. Uh, pero pwede palang i, ano, i-format. Oo, oh, pwede format. May, may, may format yung, ano, yung tawag yung format ng, ano, ano, ano. More ito yan. No, Markdown. Yes, Markdown. So, Markdown. May mga, may format yan. So, yan. Naka-format yan. Yan, yan. So, okay. So, first goal natin, nasa repositories na kayo lahat. Uh, sir, Ruel, naka-desktop. GitHub ako. Okay. Ako, oh, pares lang yan. Pares lang yan. So, dinadownload mo yung GitHub. So, ano, pag naggawa ka dito, mapupunta, mapupunta din yan sa GitHub desktop mo. So, dito tayo, ako kasi, ako kasi, ano eh, uh, Linux kasi ako. So, dito na ako, hindi na ako nag-download. Kasi yung sa GitHub, sa desktop, pwede ka na mag-create ng ganito eh. So, yan. Minakalagay dito, new. So, under repositories, my new, and then create. Sabi ko, sabi ko nina, nagbago na yung, ano, yung UI niya. So, ito, pero ganyan pa rin tsura yung sa create ng repository. So, pag create ng repository, hindi pwede na may, da, may, ano, may space. Kasi, madaling mag-error yan. So, magkatataya na, ha, over. Test. Tapos, kung gusto mo may space, test. And then descriptions, and then public. And then kung gusto mong naka-initialize na yan, type mo kayo yung mga na-initialize. Or ikaw nagagawa, so, tayo nagagawa mamaya. So, create repositories. So, since tapos na, Ayan, ito, ito na yung lumalabas kanina. So, it's ECO, Octoberfest, uh, MB. So, bago ka, bago ka, ma, bago ka ma-save yan, gagawa ka muna ng Octoberfest na file o folders. Folders sa, ano, folders na. ako na folder sa loob na desktop ko. Name ko na October test. October fest test. So, ayan. So, and then magbuksan ko yung subline. And then click ako ng file.
Mapping ko yung factor graph, test test, and then name ko to with me. Instead of itatag ko sa command, Since smart app gamit natin, so pag, ano, pag, uh, yan yan, each one yan, each one, so, factor test, so, each one, save, and then pupunta tayo sa terminal, okay natin to. So, CD, desktop, hanapin ko yung file na yun. Ito, total test test. So, clear. Nasa load tayo na. October first test. So, check natin kung ano yung nasa loob. LS. LA. So, readme, MD. So, yun lang yung laman. So, pag ginigit mo yan, get version. So, 2.16 yung git ko. Pero, pag yan, uh, git status ko yan, pag i-error yan, fatal error, not git repository or any parent of directories kasi hindi pa siya naka-initialize so para ma-initialize mo siya so get in it so initialize na siya and then git add redme md so since ginawa naman natin so meron siyang meron na dito ng redme md so ang ginagawa natin dito, i-add lang natin yung isang files, redmi.md. So, na-add na siya. So, kung ang git status natin yan, on branch master no commit yet, change to be committed, git remove cache or unstage. So, pwede mo i-unstage yan. So, since gusto natin i-push yan dun sa ano, sa uh, repo, so, git commit. So, tag Okay, na to dito ni. And then, so, committed na siya, pero hindi pa siya kasal. Ayo. Kailan natin hindi ka kasal? Hindi, ipupush pa lang, ipupush pa lang. And then, I think mag-i-up. Okay, sige, kumain. Sige, kumain. Git add remote origin, so add origin, so na add na siya. Kasi so bukod ako yung git push origin. Kaya po lang git push dash u origin master and that. Sabi niya, sabi niya, sabi niya, ano, wala pa akong username kasi naka-disconnect nga siya. So, type ko lang dito yung root. Root uh, host, ph. Password, wala. Tandalin ko, tandalin ko. Mahulin, mahulin niya ako. Kaya na, matin kayong dito. Saka live stream tayo. Saka live stream tayo.
Again guys ha, uh, please use the hashtag, hashtag DOMITUP, and hashtag OCTOBERFEST. Okay. Asterisk, ano yan, uh, strong, or bold. So, 
leaves this form of the first So, yun sila yung natin commands as so, mga hindi pa nakakaalam ano yung command as ay, control s So, class natin git status So, modified yung modifies, kasi di ba modified natin uh, So, git add So, gusto natin i-add yung lahat. Kung ano ba, maraming content ka sa loob. So, point of lang. Para wildcard. Uh, so, ibig sabihin na wildcard na lahat. All. Tapos, git commit dash m dash na, m message. Tapos, so, dash m yun, hindi modify, negative m. Modify kailangan doon ah, uh, double quote talaga siya. Mm -hmm. So, ah, uh, uh, modify to define. Ay, kay, kay sensitive ba yung message saka yung command mo dito? Hmm, sensitive is the same siya. So, modify to me. Fine. Saka, huwag kalimutan i-close yung yung, yung, yung uh, quotation mark. Quotation. So, ayan. So, nakakulit na siya. Ang susunod nun, git push mo na lang. Instead of, using, instead of using git push u master origin, ang kailangan mo, git push mo na lang. Kasi na, sa master mo pa din naman git push yan, and then origin na yan. So, yan. So, pag in-update natin ito dito, ayan na yun, update it. So, yun. Ngayon, since October first tayo, gawa tayo ng full request. So, full request. Ano yung October first tayo? October, okay. October target yung mga mga. Ha? Hindi, pang-check yan. P-O-B. S-P. S-P. Ha? S-P. Fest. Yan. Yan. Ay, hindi ha, start hacking muna tayo. Ano? Yung start hacking. Pakidemo siya. Ano yung start hacking? Yung sa taas. Kasi magre-register dun sa ano muna. Ayan, yung start hacking. Start hacking? Oo. Kasi magre-register muna tayo sa GitHub. So, since registered na ha? Oo. Hindi, i-ano yata eh. I-link. Ayan. So, i-authorize ko na lang yan. Kung meron na kayong account, Paki-authorize yung Digital Ocean for the October test. Yan. Yan. Check nyo for more information. Update. And then... Start na tayo. So, kailangan din natin share in Facebook. Kunwari nag-ano tayo. Yan. Oo. Yan. O yung hashtag natin. Hashtag... D O meet up, capital D, capital O, the meet up, the small letter yung meet up. Meet U P, then hashtag October first. Hashtag. Eh, oh, yun ang official din natin. First. Ano? May kaya yung hack natin? Si, wala na number. Yung gusto mo yung number na iba kaya ba? Yen yung official hashtag kasi. Hindi ko lang makilang. Yang yang last tengah tim. So Facebook post. Ini ni pernah yang password. Iu ngan daming chat. Daming chat tu. Bisa bayi gat. Tadi lepas. Tadi lepas. Bisa bayi lepas ya. Tapi saya yang official last tengah, paling di lima pasien. So, check, yeah, your, check your progress. So, dyan nalalabas kung nakapag-pull na kayo. Yan. Progress. So, magpupull tayo ng project. Project. Hindi siya i-back ka muna. Back. 
Yung back. Hindi yung kanina. Yung back. Back bottom. Ay, walang back. Yung back. Hindi. Taas, taas. Ito. Ito na. Pili tayo dito. Sige. So, first, gawin natin, ha, Torfest here, so, download or cloud. So, bago ka pa, bago ka pa mag, ano, kung ito, it's either, kung desktop ka, ito, open desktop, or download, so, Jadi data cheese so ini ada start pun so and then sun so Kemudian <laughs> So, mau unang muna yung git. Git clone. Wait, git clone. So, kinuklone mo ngayon yung files. Nanti na copy lang niya from GitHub. Ah, from GitHub. Ah. Pero, so, every time na may bago siya, i-git-clone mo na lang. Hindi siya automatic na pag-clone. Oh, so, parang one time ano siya, one time. Oh, one time mo yung gagawin yung git clone. So, yung git clone kasi para nakuha mo yung lahat ng files na nandun sa GitHub. Tapos, once na nakuha mo yung files, tapos meron ka update, git pull. Git pull. Pareho lang yung term ng clone tsaka download, di ba? Oo, parehong term lang. Kung may distinction ba yun? Wala. Kasi kung makapansin mo dito, download. Di ba? Download lang siya. Uh, pero since gamit natin is GitHub, GitLow. So, waiting tayo. Ay, maki pala ito nito. Facebook, ha? You follow me on Facebook. Oo, oh, oh, tsaka GitHub. And GitHub. <laughs> so, sabi plug-in. 
I mean, so first, first of all, kami yung gagawin. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still downloading. Kung magagin na ulit, i-upload may code mo din sa GitHub. Git push. Yeah, I know. Git push. Ah, first you have to check if your code has been saved. So git status. And then once you check that your code has been saved, so makikita mo naman yung status modified files, blah blah. And then you have to add all those files. On if you have only if you only want if you only add one files, you just have to put the files that you upload. But if you modify multiple files and you don't want to spe specify all those files, git git add that or the the wild card for multiple files so, and then once you uh, type the git add that you just have to type again git commit tapos space dash m then space open open code do, open double code then type your message and then close double code and then enter and once you enter that you just have to type git push and then done I memorize on. <laughs> so that's it. That's how we are using GitHub. So, kung di pa kayo kabisado mag GitHub talaga, at that you still have questions, you can ask me on Facebook. It's either on our, it's either on our Facebook groups, uh, Digital Ocean Manila, or you can ask me on Rakatos PH, direct message or, or direct message on me on my own personal Facebook page or on Rakatos PH na uh, Facebook group, uh, Facebook page. So, yes, uh, deadline ng October, sa, uh, October, fest. October, fest. October yes. 31. Until October 31, kung gusto mo magkaroon ng t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Pero kung ayaw mo naman magkaroon ng t-shirts, Oh, ayun. We have days. four days remaining for the <coughs> October fest. So you need to have, you need to have five git pull in order to have a limited edition. Maybe we might be project. Oh, well, personal project na public. Mm -hmm. Yes, personal project na public. Pwede kang mag ano? Uh, basta Pero open source. Five projects. Uh -huh. That means five projects. Hindi ko nga alam bakit hindi pa rin ako nakapagay ko. Meron na akong 93 projects dito. Wala pa nang pukul sa'yo. Hindi, maraming, may nagpapin ko ba? Yan na, guys. Help our open source community. So, what else? Any questions about GitHub or the Coverfest or even DigitalOcean? Or even rocket post. Yes, sa branching. Sa branching, okay. Uh, practice tayo yung branching. So, so lang yung nangyari. So, 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 for pull request for create yung pull request. pull request ito yung kung saan hindi siya uh, meron siyang pet ka project na gusto mong kunin tapos hindi siya hindi siya naka-public so ibu pull request mo muna siya bago ka makapag-anong 
So clone init env result. Uh, so ang kailangan natin is batch. So meron na meron na akong ano, meron na akong kasi hindi ko rin tinatandaan yung mga command. So gumagawa ako ng sarili kong audit command. So meron ako din lang dito pa din siya. Pero kung mag-create ka ng another files, ampo. We'll see. HTML. So, we have a HTML, so uh, type on tie dito. <coughs> HTML. Each one. Hello. After all this. So, type my topic status. So, home page. Pero kung git brush natin, master siya. So kung gusto mong pumunta sa home page, asa master. So, ito yung command, <coughs> check out master. So kung titignan mo dito, naka-aster si home page. So, master. Switch to master. So, git branch. So, naka asterisk si master, and then git status ka. Nandyan pa, din yung, nandyan pa din siya, pero hindi, hindi siya mag-merge. Ay, hindi pa siya, kung i-git, uh, uh, change, git add, uh, git push, uh, git add, git, git push. So, push na siya. Nakapun, na, ano siya sa master? So, added yung home page dito. Pero kung ang isa-save mo ay, at kung i-merge mo yung kung uh, master ka pa, um, git merge. Git, what? Hindi, hindi ko matandaan kung bakit. Dapat hindi siya mag, mag-push kasi nga, nasa branch lang siya. Dapat hindi siya mag-push. Pag, pag naka-branch, hindi pwedeng mag-push. And hindi siya mag-push kasi mawawala siya dapat. Hindi siya nandyan kasi nga, di ba? Ano siya? Branch. It's up. You have nothing to... Huwag kanyang dapat nang lalabas sa kanya. Nothing to commit point in trick to me. Kasi nasa branch lang dapat siya. So git branch. Git check out. Sorry. Check, check out. Home page. So... So home page, nasa home page tayo, tapos git add, git commit, branch, parang home page, parang branch home page natin to commit. So, Balik tayo eh. Wala na sa i-commit kasi na-commit na natin kanina pa. Pero dapat, yung homepage, eh, yung master dapat ang ganyan ang resulta. Ikaw lang mong bakit balik tayo. Um, dapat yata, ano, existing file. Pagka new file kasi siya, pwede 
master. So I'll switch to master, so the branch, there's a master tire, and master, and then dito, may dalawang, dalawang, di ba dito may contributor, yung branch, and may branch dito. Tingnan natin kung may hirap lang branch dito, dalawang bakit, isa lang. Isa lang yata eh. Ay, two, ayan. So, may dalawang branch, home page, tsaka master. Actually, pwede mo din, pwede mo dito mo din siya, ano eh, i-merge eh. reset yan. Ito yung kunin natin. Reset. Okay. Reset. On stage. Okay. Merge. Let. Ayan sa mga tayo. Basta brush tayo diba? this. Do you want to read it or no? We have no shot. Ito yung ano niya. Ito yung na reset niya. Eh. Ito yung na homepage. Ito. Ito yung na na reset niya. Itong area na to.
branch is up to date and there's nothing to commit. So check out. So tinanggal natin yung ang ginawa ko dito guys, tinanggal ko na yung home page. So yung error niya kasi dito, change not stage for commit. Use git add file to update what will be committed. Or, or use git check out file to discard changes in working directory. So ang ginawa ko, check out so to discard the change the files. So tinanggal ko yung home page is email. So no change added to or add or commit A. So the branch is commit. So, tingnan natin kung na uh, malabas na tayo. Home page. Ayan, nakalabas na tayo. Branch. Nasa home page na ulit tayo. So, the idea here is you can actually create multiple branch, multiple files, and then the good thing is, kahit masira mo 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 yung halimbawa yung branch A, branch B. Masira yung branch A, ayos lang, i-delete mo lang yun. Ang maapit doon lang ba yung branch na lang branch lang yun. Yung master hindi ma hindi ma uh, dadalaw yun. So yung ginawa natin dito, dinilit ko yung ano, branch. So wala hindi pa rin nadadalaw yung home page. See? So sa home page naman natin ay ano uh, ay ibaro rin yung branching pwede. Yun na yun dito na papasok yung development. <laughs> Oh yes. So multiple multiple people using one files, meron ka lang dapat isang master. And then yung yung mga kasama mong developer merge, ano lang yung mga branch yung branch, branch lang yun. So bago mag bago mag lalagay ilalagay doon sa production. So yung master mo, meron may yun na yung pwedeng pwedeng direct from production yun. Ah. Or meron ka pag another branch ng pangalan production. So lahat ng merge mabubun merge mo doon sa productions, tapos once naman merge mo sa, sa productions, yung merge mo doon sa master, para repo mo na yung master. Or baliktad, pwede din, repo, uh, merge mo muna sa master, and then once, once na merge mo sa master, punta ka na naman, uh, punta ka naman doon sa uh, production. Pwede yung ganun. But usually, ang ginagawa nila, production, sa ka master. So merge lahat ng mga branch, mga thing developer branch, dev A, dev B, dev C to production and then once na, na merge na dun sa production and then saka yung merge na sa master or auto, auto merge to master ganun doon sa ano so ano ba akong project manager i-push ko yun oh push mo hmm. push mo sa sarili mong branch so mag sa sarili kong branch uh, magkakaroon ka ng ganito na, yung isang project magkakaroon ng ganitong dalawang branch you know? dalawang branch tapos kung ano ba ito home si home page ito yung dev, developer A so lahat ng push mo lang dyan so gusto mo din i-merge yan i-merge din sa master pwede mo i-merge yan so yung project manager siya na bahala mong push dun sa yes pwede yung si, si project manager no, pwede siya bahala dun kasi si project manager siya, siya na rin yung code inspector kung baka ah, quality issue uh, ah, yes. minsan kasi Okay, na-push ko na sa ano, sa branch ko. Kaya si project manager, wala ang pakialam ko. Sige, push na natin itong hook. Ah, matay. Sa yung taga-hook. Si code inspector. Kasi makikita po kahit kalitlitan dyan na ano, ang details. Makikita mo anong nagbago dyan. Good. So yung difference ng branch, ay, di ba may comparison yun eh? Sa branch siya ka sa master. Yes, yung master. Yung oh, yung lahat ng files. So before you create masters, you need to create first the whole project. No, the environment. Oh, so yung know, si Dev, di ba? Laravel, lahat ng ano ng Laravel uh, connections, all the Laravel connections are there. And then uh, once na nag-up na, na yung initial project, sa sa gagawa ng branching, it's either dito lang sa loob, pwede ka rin mag-create ng branching dito eh. Saan branching dito? As of now, we have three commits, so... <coughs> so, let's launch. Nagbago na kasi ito. Nagbago na yung UI na. Hindi ko nakagisabi tuloy. Ayan, launch. Wala na dito. Nawala na yung ano. Ah, 
branch. Pwede ka ba, actually, pwede ka mag-crate ng branch dito, kahit dito lang siya. Sa amin na lang. Oh, sa amin na lang. Yan yung branch dyan. May nabasa ko kanina dyan, sir, yung wiki. Ano yung wiki? Wiki. Ay, ito, 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 Mostly, yung mga open source project, there are wikis. Wikis are tutorials on how to use the uh, applications or uh, plugins. So, example of wikis. Um, how to use the, the software. So, device gem. So, it's a, uh, it's a gem for Ruby on Rails. So if you want to create a user user login and everything, device gen for OVN you know. So there are wikis on how to So ayan, new wikis. Actually parang ano lang siya. Get started. And may kita mo dito mga connect mga ano, mga tutorials. Bug reports. Ayun yeah. so, mga bug reports for process of syntax in this wiki. Yeah, pwede siya may kikor, pero dito ang tatawag ng issues din. Yan ang issues. So, yung mga, kung ikaw na, kita ka ng issues na hindi naman, ano, ayan. Babasahin ng mga developers yan, and then, yun yung ipipix nila. Next step, it's called password, URL. So, yan. Kailan ba? Kailan lang yan? Open 6 days ago. So, yun. May mga pag-reports ko sa software testing, pwede ko na rin pala nilagay sa GitHub. Yes. True issues. Yes. Or wiki. Yes. Pero kailangan, naka-private ka kung project yun. Uh -huh. Kasi kung public, wala yun. Nakikita, wala yun nakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak